Hello, budding scientists, and welcome to Reading Redness Centers. Today, we are going to embark on an exciting journey into the world of solutions and mixtures. Are you ready to explore the magic of mixing and blending? Let's dive right in. What is a solution? A solution is a mixture where the parts are so evenly mixed that you can't see them anymore. For example, when you mix sugar and water, you create a solution called sugar water. How to make a solution? To make a solution, you need to mix a solute and a solvent. The solute is the substance that dissolves, and the solvent is the substance that the solute dissolves in. For example, to make a solution of sugar water, the solute is sugar and the solvent is water. To make a solution, you can mix the solute and solvent together by stirring, shaking, or heating them. Types of solutions There are two main types of solutions, saturated solutions and unsaturated solutions. Saturated solutions a saturated solution is a solution that contains all of the solute that it can dissolve. For example, if you mix sugar and water until you can't dissolve any more sugar, you have created a saturated solution of sugar water. Unsaturate solutions An unsaturate solution is a solution that does not contain all of the solute that it can dissolve. For example, if you mix sugar and water and you can still dissolve more sugar, you have created an unsaturated solution of sugar water. Examples of solutions There are many examples of solutions in everyday life. Here are a few. Salt water, vinegar, air, blood. What is a mixture? A mixture is a combination of two or more different substances. Mixtures can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Homogeneous mixtures. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture where the parts are evenly mixed. For example, sugar water is a homogeneous mixture because you can't see the sugar crystals anymore. Heterogeneous mixtures. A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture where the parts are not evenly mixed. For example, a salad is a heterogeneous mixture because you can see the different vegetables. Examples of mixtures There are also many examples of mixtures in everyday life. Here are a few. Soil Concrete Pizza Cereal What if we want to separate a solution? Well, we have some neat tools for that. Tools like filters help us split the different parts of a mixture. It's like performing magic, but it's science that makes it work. Mixtures can also be tons of fun. You can blend colors to create stunning paintings or mix ingredients to whip up delicious treats. Who wouldn't love a fantastic slime experiment? Guess what? Nature is filled with mixtures too. Just take a look at the ocean. It's a mixture of salt and water. Even the air we breathe is a blend of gases like oxygen and nitrogen. Now, let's put our scientist hats on and do a hands-on experiment. Grab a glass of water, add some salt, and observe how the salt mysteriously disappears. That's a solution in action. Here's a thrilling challenge for you. Mix various colored liquids together and see what incredible new colors you can create. It's like being a mini artist and scientist rolled into one. We've embarked on an amazing journey, uncovering the wonders of solutions and mixtures today. But guess what? Our scientific adventure is far from over. There's an entire universe of captivating science waiting for you to explore. If you found this video as fascinating as we did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to like, share, and subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for more enthralling science expeditions. Keep those questions coming and keep exploring the incredible world around you. Until next time, happy learning, future scientists.